Hi, my name is Austin, AKA the Duke of Craft, and today we are back in my dining room because it has been over 100 degrees Fahrenheit here for like the past three weeks in a row, and my tiny little air conditioner in my garage just cannot keep up with it. Uh, so today I'm gonna make a leather wallet. So I made a wallet a couple months ago just for fun, uh, and somebody had approached me about buying one from me in the past. Uh, so I reached out to him to see if he might want to purchase that one, uh, but his current wallet has a third fold with ID windows on both sides, um, and he really wanted to have that. So I told him I would make one uh, like that, so that's what we're going to make today. I've already cut out the paper template, so we are ready to jump straight into uh, cutting the leather. So let's get started. So I know a lot of people like ASMR style videos when it comes to leather working, and I'd love to be able to provide that for you, but unfortunately my HVAC unit is right next to my dining room and it produces an obnoxiously loud hum when the AC is running, rendering my audio here useless. So when I'm done talking here in a minute, I'm going to just leave you to relax with some of the old Ludwig van. Okay, so I've got all the leather cut out. Um, the only thing that's really different about this wallet from my first video where I made a wallet uh, is that ID window part. And my original idea was to take one of these existing pieces of leather from the card slot area, extend it out, and then fold it over. Um, but most of the examples I found online actually added a whole new piece and stitched it into this seam. So that's what I'm gonna try. Uh, and then for the actual uh, window part, I found this clear vinyl on Amazon. Uh, so I'm going to try that and I'll cut out a piece somewhat like this uh, with a uh, hole in the middle so you can grip your ID with your thumb to take it out of the pocket.
If you're still watching, thank you very much for making it this far. I'm about to start getting into making some game and movie prop replicas. So if that's something that interests you, please hit the subscribe button so you'll see that content in the very near future.